You're watching BaseNet Internet Television, a BaseNet Intermedia Group company. Hi, this is Julian Moon about Los Angeles, and I'm standing here at the Chinese Pavilion located in downtown Riverside, where we will be bringing in the New Year, the Chinese New Year, that is, with the Year of the Snake. The third annual Chinese New Year Festival, the Year of the Snake, rang in the new with firecrackers. <laughs> Dance groups dressed in traditional Chinese attire marched down the street and to the park, followed by Bollywood dancers as well as martial arts masters that showed their skills in the parade and on various stages in historical downtown Riverside. A lot of people yeah. are here, like it's so like festive and I just like that it's, I don't know, it's just fun. <laughs> um, probably the sumo wrestlers. <laughs> there were also sumo wrestling demonstrations by champions such as three-time world champion Bianca. I was I'm, well, originally from Mongolia, mm -hmm. and then when I was young, I did the judo and Mongolian wrestling, and then I just scout from the sumo. So, and I moved in Japan, and then I did a professional sumo about five years. Well, you know, uh, it's uh, still have a lot of techniques. It's you know, for uh, I like to fight in sports, so. Shaolin Kung Fu demonstrations as well as Wushu training were also shown in front of the library to spectators by its students as well as by Master Su Yin Wei. I think it's great. I think it's a good thing that they're, sm they're promoting different culture through the Western world. We call this side the Western because China is called Eastern. Yeah. So I think it's good that they're promoting the art through various media. Do various media, what else? Do various organization, various community. I think it's a good thing that they do. They're keeping our traditional art alive. I feel as much as um, I admire them. Number one, because in nowadays people have uh, games, computer, everything. I mean, so technically this is a hard art to learn, and so I really much give kudos to kids that take the time and effort to practice it and train it, and of course to become part of the arts. As the event concluded, various characters from pop culture, as well as Japanese anime, showed off in a cosplay fashion show. It's basically, it's a very popular thing in Japan, and the definition basically is dressing up as someone that's basically not you. Oh, uh, to me personally, it was just getting out there and having fun and enjoying yourself. Because I've liked cosplay for a long time, and um... It gives you a chance to be someone else for a day. What would you think? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, this, nice. girl was, this girl was working in it. Mean, she was like... <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't take off her jacket. She should have. Like me, I didn't join. I was just taking pictures. I, don't, I was worried it was going to rain and, you know... And I, I came in last year. It was my first time coming here. And it was a lot of fun. We had... Uh, it was quite a large group last year. And then this year, we've almost quadrupled our size. Wow. With the amount of, amount of people in costumes. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy wow. doing this. As the sun sets on the first official day of the Chinese New Year, the Year of the Snake, there is only one way to officially kick off the first of the year. I'm Julie Marie, about Los Angeles.